A lot of fish oh, out. That's a good big one. one. Big, big one. Big one. Woo! This is awesome. This is awesome. What's up, Star Sizzle Squad? Good morning. Today is a beautiful day in South Florida. We're going fishing today. But if you're new to this channel, my name is Darcy, also known as Star Sizzle. I'm Craig. The camera's <laughs> pointing at me, you goofball. He's ready. He's ready. I'm not ready. He's ready. No, I'm just, I'm doing my and I'm Brian Darcy's boyfriend. This goofball over here. I'm a goofball. I'm sorry. I'm just trying to get stuff ready. I don't know. I'm not made for TV. Tell them who you are. Oh, I'm Craig Stevens. That's all I am. I'm just Craig Stevens. I'm nothing. I'm just, just a fisherman. That's all. I'm just Craig. He's crazy Craig Stevens in my phone. Now you know why. And we are chasing fish and following our dreams today. We're fishing out of Hillsboro Inlet in Florida. And I just hooked up on a fish. We just started trolling, actually, uh, out the inlet because we really don't know what's going on out here post-Hurricane Irma. And now I've got a fish on. So we're going to find out what it is. He's got a nice little bonita on. Bonita's a good bait. Not good to eat. So that's a good song. Sorry about that, my battery ran out. As Darcy was saying, they're putting the lines back out right now, but you know, this is our first time out after Irma. Uh, the water's really churned up. We don't really, really know what's going on out here. It does look to be getting a little bit better. No one else has been really catching too many fish. So uh, we're out here following our dreams, and uh, we're going to see what happens, and then I'll let you guys know about it. I just brought it back. Oh, my God. Oh, the other one's going off. Fish on. Double. Alright, so we just got, after trolling a little bit now, we just came across a wee line out here. This is truly incredible what's going on right now. I've never seen so much bait and I've never seen the action that we have right now. Craig has got a nice little mahi-mahi right there. That I think it might be a keeper. It's close. But we just got a double on fish and then I just saw a huge fish jump over here. and It's truly incredible. I can't believe how many fish are out here right now. Nice. Check it out guys. This is Mahi I just caught. This is definitely a keeper. Gorgeous. Look how lit up this fish is. So many bright orange, I mean bright yellows and greens and blues. It's just such an awesome fish. Great way to start the day. We've got Mahi tacos in the boat. A lot of fish oh, out. That's a good big one. one. Big one. Big one. Woo! This is awesome. This is awesome. All right. Yeah, I'm going to leave this one like this and get the Just started like trolling people. again after those couple fish we just caught. <laughs> we got a lot of fish. Craig is running all over the boat. And I've got a good fish on right now. Oh, I'm over this line. I'm over this line in the, in the outrigger. All right, ready? Nice job. Get the other pole. I got this. The fish are getting bigger. Whatever side you want. Whatever side you want. Yeah, I can work way. with you. Look how beautiful that is. She's lit beautiful, up. lit up. Lit up. Keep them on the gaff. That is an epic gaff shot. Beautiful, lit up fish. Look at that. Fin is all up. Just a gorgeous, gorgeous fish. Incredible. We are slaying it today, and it's 10 o'clock in the morning. What's up, Dark Sizzle Nation? These guys are killing the fish out here, and you know me, I'm just playing them on this camera. And uh, I'm gonna give you guys a tackle time. Craig runs a very simple and effective spread out of Hillsboro, and we're gonna tell you exactly what lures caught these fish uh, during tackle time towards the end of the video. Here we go. He hit it. He's not hooked. That's a good fish. Hooked up on another fish. We just had pulled up our lines and we're running and gunning, and that term means that we are cruising out further into the deep sea looking for different conditions, looking for blue water, looking for debris, looking for frigates. And along the way, heading out here, I just saw a frigate, which is one of those big birds that are offshore. We call them war birds. And, uh, we just started trolling and we came across a buoy, went to the buoy, and now we just found a bunch of fish. So that is kind of what we're doing, and we did this last time too with Craig, if you checked out that video, so if you haven't, please do. We got a bunch of nice fish and a nice sailfish, and uh, today we are just killing it again. You guys remember Craig from our other video? How you guys doing? 
You put this on the fish. Yeah, we got three nice mahi in the box already. I'll take the mahi. You can eat those. Love them. Yeah. Craig, what do you think about this star sizzle after, you know, there's a lot of hype online, but now you're actually fishing her twice. If she knows what she's doing. You're not just saying that because you're standing right here, are you? No, I'm not at all. And I'm not, <laughs> no, I'm not at all. But I mean, when you go out with her, she knows what she's doing. She, you know, it's like I just drive and she puts out the lines and the lures and she, she knows what she's doing. She knows, she knows how to fish. She knows how to fish. So girls can fish too? I mean, I mean, not only is she good looking, but she can fish. She can fish. I didn't even notice the looks. And I'm thinking about making an all-girl fishing team. <laughs> Hold on, what ha what's going to happen to me? <laughs> no, I need a cameraman though, too. Oh, okay. And Darcy can be the captain of the team. There you go. Yum yum, Craig Treat is right. Darcy spilled hers. Hooked up on something. I was not fighting under the boat though, because something weird is going on. I don't want my line to break on the boat, so I don't want Here, to I'm touch it. Here, I'm gonna turn it away. Okay. We just moved in a little closer. The mahi bite seemed to slow down for us, so we just came into the stink hole, which is in about 100 feet of water. Ooh, here's my weight. Hold on, hold on. By the oh, engine. Oh, he's gonna run under the boat. Shit. So while they're fooling around, right, anyway. the stink hole. Whoa. The stink hole is uh, the release treated sewage into the ocean. Isn't it wonderful? And Darcy's probably catching a bonita. Yellowtail! Rainbow oh. runner! Rainbow runner! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, that's delicious! Nice! They are. Ah. <laughs> Boom! Ah. Awesome. So that's a rainbow runner. Those are delicious. We just caught that on a live mullet over this over the stink hole. Good job! Rainbow runner! Real Ooh. dreams on it again! <laughs> Chasing fishing! Follow my dreams out here. It's Friday after the hurricane, first time offshore. Craig put us on a fish. Friday, it's beautiful out here. Uh, it, it, it's it's just one of those days that you're glad to be alive. Beautiful fishing, everything. Beautiful friends, everything. Woo, beautiful. It must be talking about. Brian, must be talking about the sizzle. I'm I'm beautiful on the inside. Hey, <laughs> when, when you catch a fish, even Brian's beautiful. <laughs> even Shrek looks good. Don't sometimes. worry about it, Darcy. Just try to look. Darcy, look, 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 look. Dig out that hook. And you know, and that brings us to mind, you know, we were talking about following your dreams around here and you know, we quit our jobs to fish full time and, and bring it to you. Well, I didn't but, quit my job. Yeah, well, Craig did it, did it differently. He served our country, defended the place for a whole career, and now he retired with good stuff. 20 he, years I did, and every day I thought about fishing when I was in Korea, Germany, the 82nd. I said, when I retire from the Army, I'm buying a fishing boat and I'm going fishing as much as I can. There you go. That's dream. Craig's follow your dream story. And thank, of course, for his service. And that's why the boat's called Real Dreams. We're all living real dreams. Look at that delicious rainbow runner. Beautiful fish. Tackle, tackle time. time. All right, so you got to do a quick, a quick tackle time. But we're out here Mahi fishing, following our dreams on a Friday. And uh, we're going to go along with what uh, Captain Craig does. Yes. And it's, uh, it's similar to what we did last time with him. These are the, these are the four lures we used today. These are the ones that cut all the fish. Yep. Uh, and, and they were great. Uh, we were using just some regular standard Shimano uh, TLDs and uh, some pen reels. Again, and those are have 20 pound or you can put 30 pound line on that uh, main line. You know, right to that lure that we showed you. And yeah. uh, he was just doing four, two in the riggers and two out back on the corners and, and catching the fish. Right, Sizzle? Heck yeah. They were slaying the fish this morning. But the, the afternoon bike did seem to slow down, but you know, that's fishing. But we got on the fish today and it totally worked. Totally worked. Right, part, part of tackle time is when we fished and where. And yes, when we caught all the fish during a, a major. You know, I always try and tell you guys, minors and majors and what we're doing. Moon phases. Yeah, the moon phase was on a major, so that, I don't know if sure that was it, but that was a coincidence stay at least. Yeah. And then uh, again, there's been a hurricane, so he's going to find the clean water. We found the blue water right. and a weed line, and uh, that's where the fish were. Ton of bait. I think it's the most bait I've seen, like, all year. Um, so that was definitely a good sign, for sure. There's fish around. Yep, so there's fish out here, guys. You just got to get that clean water, a lot of dirty water, and uh, find the water, find the fish. Exactly. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. We appreciate you. And until our next adventure, follow your dream and keep on catching.